Hello and welcome to the channel. Another year has passed and for the people that have been following the channel, they know if a year passes, that means that I have been playing for a whole year with this rifle. Well, with a rifle. And last year it was the ICS Arc. And in this week's video, I'm going to show you all the things that I noticed while using this for a year. I will show you the things that I liked, the things that I didn't like, the things that I changed and the things that I I'm gonna keep as it is. Now note that this is the MOSFET version. ICS also released the Triple S Gearbox uh, MOSFET version. Uh, this is still the MOSFET version. I don't have the SSS, but I have the SSS Gearbox on my UK1 Captain. And I must say, I really love how the MOSFET has worked. It's an easy and simple MOSFET that does what it has to do. I'm not a fan of all the fancy trickery that you can do with a MOSFET. It needs to work and it the SSS gearbox is doing a pretty damn good job. So in this one, it's the basic MOSFET. It will protect my trigger contacts, but there is no fancy stuff on it. Now in the past, I already made a few ARC videos. Uh, you can look them up. I talked about the features. I did an unboxing. I talked about the magazines. I talked again about the magazines. I think that's it. I made four videos about the ARC and a few gameplay videos where I was using it, but I made four different ARC videos Five. I also took them apart and put it back together. So five ARC videos that you can find on my channel. I'll put the, 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 the playlist here above. So in this video, I will not go over all these things in detail. I will not show you all the features because you can go to the feature video. Um, I will not go over all the magazines because you see that in the magazine video. I will just go over the things that I liked and I didn't like. So yeah, let's get into it. And we're going to start off with the inside of the gun. So what did I change on the inside of the gun? This is going to be really quick. I only changed the spring because it was shooting uh, 0.8 joules and I want to shoot a little bit harder so I uh, switched the spring and now it's shooting 1.1 joules. So yeah that's it, that's the only thing that I changed on the inside of the rifle. So from the inside we go to the outside and I changed a few things on the outside, well only small little things. So let's start on the top of the rifle and I added two little wrist rails on the front and on the top because I needed something to put my light on. Uh, I have another one laying around so I'm gonna see where I could put the third rail. I needed more rails to mount my light, my cameras uh, and my sling mount. So yes, I added two different rails. I added a strap on the back to get my sling attached to it. More about that later in the video about the things that I didn't like. And I added two small holes uh, on the front grip but also more about that later on in the video. One thing that I will be changing there will be a paint job coming up. Uh, I'm gonna make a video about that uh, but I'm a fan of the green and black uh, scheme that you can do on the arc but I'm gonna do it reverse. I'm gonna do all the metal parts will be green and all the plasticky parts will be black. I think. We'll see, but there will be a paint job in the near future. And that's all the things that I changed. Oh yeah, I, I put an ACOG on it, but as you can see, it's the same ACOG that I can use on all my rifles. It's on every rifle that I've tested. I just love that little ACOG. Um, it's doing a fine job for years now, and I just love it. But that's the only thing that I changed on the outside of the rifle. Now let's go to the things that I really like about the rifle. Now, if you take up the rifle, the build quality is amazing. I just love how it's built. It's so sturdy. I can drop it anywhere and it's not going to break. And it feels like a really hefty sturdy rifle and i noticed that it is because i'm not these i'm a quite active player and things really take a beating when i use it i must say this can take a really good beating there is almost no wobble on it yes there is a little bit of wobble on this part but that's all yeah it's just a really sturdy rifle if you take it in your hands it just feels right it's one piece of metal and plastic that you're holding in your hand and it just feels right so yeah that's one thing that i really liked and i start loving during the year that I have been using it. In the beginning it was a little bit, mm, yeah, it's heavy, but after using it, it just feels right. So yeah, a fan, really a fan. It's a little bit front heavy, so that means that most of the uh, weight is at the front. Yeah, that's also normal because this is all metal and this is a plastic stock, but still it feels okay if you hold it. It's, it's okay. I don't mind it that it, it's a little bit front heavy, even with all my equipment at the front. Uh, if I put my light and my cameras on it, it's even more top heavy, uh, but without it, it's really nice. I can play CQB with this and be uh, rather quick. So really happy with that. Um, weight distribution is also very good. The front grip is really comfortable. Um, sometimes I bump to this little part because I want to keep it. I want to hold it a little bit further up, uh, but you just have to hold it here and you automatically are in a good form. Uh, well, for me, it's a good form and I've gotten used to using it like this and 
it feels okay. And otherwise, if I go too much forward, my light is in the way, so I have to hold it here. And also the front grip has a really good texture, even with gloves, even if they're wet, you have a really good grip on the gun. Now let's go to the things that I didn't like. Now, to start off, I'm gonna just keep it here, otherwise I will be keeping it up all the time and I will be doing close-ups anyway. Uh, to start off at the back from this time, uh, the stock. As I said in one of my previous videos, they just took the stock from the Ape and they put it on the Arc. The stock looks really the part and it just fits the rifle. I don't argue with that. But, I don't like that if you just press it, you can uh, change the stock length. And I know in some occasions it's really handy that you can go from really um, really in to really out in a really fast time, but I don't like it. I like to have uh, that you have to like click this and then you can move it around. And also the cheek rest, I don't like it that you can just pull it up without having to press the button um, and then stuff like that happen. It's loose, it's way too high up. And then I have to press the button again to get it all the way down. So I'm gonna glue that down or, we're going to, or I'm going to do some duct taping, uh, but this is going to be fixed in my, in my point. Another thing that is not useful for me is that it's a collapsible stock. That means that uh, I can only have one sling point, more about that later. And the other thing is that it's collapsing on the wrong side. That means that your stock is in front of your selector switch and that's not really handy. I don't like it. it I, I would rather have it that it is a fixed stock and that you have a sling point on both sides. So for me, yes, the collapsible stock is really nice if you want to take it with you in a smaller container or in a smaller bag. But for me, it's really annoying that um, I only have one sling point and I don't need it to be collapsed. I just buy a bigger bag to put it in. And while we're talking about the stock, let's talk about battery space. Now the battery space is if you open this up, uh, the battery goes right inside here. And this is the only battery space that you have. And ICS provide a lot of cabling um, so I will be cutting down the cables a little bit shorter so I have a little bit more room for my battery and I already use a really small battery a 1200 milliamp battery a 7.4 volts um, and still I have to squeeze it in there and that's not really good for my cables and the MOSFET that is right inside here another thing that I don't like is that you have a small opening at the back of the stock where you can see the wiring through a little hole well that's the hole where you can move the stock with uh, but you can see the cables through that and I don't like that so if I shorten the cables the cable should be coming right in this part and then the visibleness of I don't know if that's a word will not be an issue anymore because the cables will be in this part and that also brings us to the next part uh, with the collapsible stock and all is that it only has one sling point on the left side of the gun and for me as a lefty that's annoying because I cannot use that my gun will turn around and that's really annoying also there is no sling point on the front of the gun and the only sling attachment that you have is this one and as I told you if you just press this your stock will not be in position anymore so that's really annoying so what I had to do is I had to okay. so what I had to do is I had to use some stuff that I got from uh, the survivor sling and made my own attachment. So they really did a good job, uh, the survivor sling, did a really good job by making this. And it's really simple. It's just a hook where I can put my sling on and it's a Velcro strap, but it's really sturdy. And I can use the sling point on the other side to make sure that the sling, new sling attachment is not moving in any direction. And on the front, I added also a sling attachment uh, on my wrist rail. This is going to be changed in the near future. I don't know by what yet, but this one is working. And I'm using a one and two point sling. So this will be the one point sling attachment. And when I have to go to two point sling for some reasons, this will be my second attachment point. Now it's not the most uh, secure and stable and, and, and sturdy one because of the plastic rail, but this one is doing really fine. And that's the only solution that I see right now to fix my uh, sling problem. But if anybody else has a different sling setup that he can sent to me just post in the comments and uh, i would be happy to test it out now the next thing that i did it's not a thing that i don't like is well yeah i didn't like it um i added two small holes or two cutouts in the front grip because it's an amazing gun to take apart you just have to remove those two screws and you can take the gun apart but the problem is to get to those screws you had to remove all the the grips and whatever and with those two small cuts I didn't have to do that anymore. I could just remove the, the screws on both sides, take the gun apart, and my problem was fixed. And then the last part what I want to talk about is the mags. Uh, those are the standard ICS mags. They are amazing, but the problem is that they, uh, they have an option where you can switch to 30 to 50 BBs. I just don't like it. It's a little bit too small for what I need it for, but the build quality of those is amazing. It fits amazing, and also the follower 
is rubberized and that's working pretty well. But as I said, it's only 30 or 50 round magazine. So I switched this up to a cheaper variant and this was a SEMA mag, I think. It was a really cheap one, it's a plastic one. Um, it's not the same build quality as the ICS ones, but this was cheaper. And I tend to lose my mags because I run around a lot. Um, so yeah, I want a little bit more mags for the same price so I can lose a few for, yeah, without breaking the bank. So now I'm using SEMA mags and I made a video about how to adapt them to fit into the arc. And with that, I told you all the things that I liked and I didn't like about this rifle, all the things that I changed about the rifle. Um, and I think this will be the rifle that I will be using next year. Also for, I think, almost every event that I'm going to because I have been falling in love with this setup. Um, also with my gear that I changed to the AK variants. Yeah, I just love it. And I'm going to run this one for at least a few more events. So you will be seeing a little bit more uh, gameplay videos with this one. So if you want to keep up to date with all the gameplay videos that are coming up, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you liked or you learned some stuff from this video, don't forget or uh, if you want to just like the video. Uh, if you have any questions about the ARC or anything ICS related or anything Airsoft related, just you know, just put it in the comments. And also don't hesitate. If you see me running on a field with this one, just talk to me and I will gladly give it to you so you can test it out, you can feel it, you can see how it is, how it works and whatever. I'm gladly going to give it to you as a test. That's why I have those things to show the people what they are and how they operate. But yeah, for now, I'm going to wish you a very good day and I hope I see you next week for a new video. Bye.